to say, the target development of all malignant diseases, shortening lifespan, death. When crass formed at the height of the punk explosion in Britain, people thought that anarchy meant bricks through windows and riots in the street. By pumping out music and booklets, posters and propaganda, crass tried to educate their audience into true anarchism, a life of self-determination and freedom, where individuals hold the power to control their own lives. People do recognise the spiritual value of what uh, we've tried to offer, that, that we're not simply talking about hard, earthly, mortal facts. We're talking about the potential and the value of the human spirit, that that can rise above the mundanity and the horror of everyday life. That's quite a large sum. I want to pay tribute to those who earn it. But, ladies and gentlemen, it is not enough. Some adults cannot handle. Uh, they just, for some psychological or developmental reason, are unable to deal with the reality presented them. We are naturally proud of the way our fighting men are serving their country. What about our boys? You hear them say. Well, they aren't our boys. They're certainly not mine. What a load of emotive, jingoistic nonsense. Mr. Raymond Powell. Labour. With a total disruption. And will she take time off today to listen to the new record? of how does it feel to be the mother of the death of 1,000 lives? Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, I think there were rather a lot of questions there. Yeah. I don't think anything about it was fun. To be honest, fun went out the window very early on. Anyway, what is fun? It was a real wake-up call when Thatcher got voted in. Authority does not exist without the value and support that we give it. As long as we, the people, bow down to the system, authority will exist, and so will the system. Either we accept that we are to live as mindless robots in a world that is walking the tightrope of nuclear war, where security checks will become a way of life, where the streets are patrolled by tanks and the skies by helicopters, where the people no longer dare to speak of what they feel and believe, 
for fear of those who might be listening, where love is a memory, peace is a dream, and freedom simply does not exist. Or we demand our rights, refuse to be part of the authority that denies them, and recognise that the system is nothing but a small handful of ruling elites who are powerless without our support. We have the strength, but do we have the courage? We have the strength, but do we have the courage? as an excuse their passion against certain things which are wrong in society whereas in fact they're in a way hiding away from something which is within themselves and hopefully will go on but with renewed vision if you like what do you feel that vision is well i think it's it's internal in in everybody and more sort of looking to oneself and then speaking from from there we have done is is to give people an awareness of themselves you can only say to people is the life you're leading the one that you would actually choose what is it that you really want to do and what is the best way for you to lead that life which you wish um, the thing I do is to deter any hostility, any kind of breaking out. If you look at the whole thing, you would see it really does play part. They give immense pleasure. They give immense pleasure. They too get immense pleasure. Funds not wanting to know. single political thing I do is to deter war from ever starting. Not only nuclear war, but conventional war, which is terrible. Why does it fail? For the past 37 years, nuclear weapons have kept the peace. The springs of war lie in the readiness to resort to force against other nations and not in the arms race. Yes, of course I'll sell Argentina the bomb, but you know the price will have to be right. Yes, that's right. Punk is dead. It's just another cheap product for the consumer's head. Bubblegum rock on plastic transistors. Schoolboy sedition backed by big-time promoters. Our aim was to bring down the government, to destroy governance as it is known, was known at the time. And we believed at the time, naively or not, that we could possibly do it. What we wanted to do was to demonstrate that actually, with absolutely nothing, we could do it, and we could do it effectively and honestly. We've got nothing, let's have a go. And we did it. And that in itself was a powerful demonstration, and it un undermined for a while the whole music business. I mean, the music business was, yeah. was shit-scared by what we were doing because we were being effective. But how how did you manage to be effective? Because I, I mean I know by how, being how difficult it is. 
honesty is so rare that if people do operate with honesty, then actually it's like honey to a bee. It's because that is what's common to all our heart, regardless of whatever conceits we've created. Honesty isn't something that comes from oneself. It comes from life. So who would you say at that time operating within the punk sphere that you actually respected or felt were, were interesting? John Lennon. Right. <laughs> I think he was interesting. You talk about revolution. Oh, that's fine. But what are you going to be doing? Come we weren't time. trying to say... Oh, join your local anarchist group or, you know, go left or whatever. What we were saying, there's no authority but yourself. Look to yourself, look to your own desires, look to your own needs and look to your own complicity and then decide what you want to do. <laughs>